good morning, everyone. I'm Dominus Orbis, and today I'm going to be doing Packet Tracer 2.2.1.5, Map a Network using Cisco Discovery Protocol. Now, this is a course in my playlist of the CCNA Routing and Switching 6.0 Bridging Course, which is the updates to the new curriculum, uh, just in case you already have your CCNA, and you want to update your skill set on the new curriculum. Basically, we're going to be using the CDP protocol, uh, layer 2 protocol, uh, only Cisco proprietary. There's also the link layer um, discovery protocol, LLDP, which is an uh, open standard. So the one that we're going to be talking about today is only available using Cisco devices. And our task is to discover what's in this remote office and map it out topologically speaking, which we're not going to do, but we are going to show how you could do it if you wanted to. Okay, so I'm right here in a PC, admin PC, and I'm just going to secure shell remote in using the info that I'm provided. So for my local network, I have a username and password here. And it's already giving me the PC, I'm sorry, the IP address that I can log in with. And 192.168.1.1. For my local network, well, both passwords are the same actually, so it doesn't matter. So on the edge one, let's look at the protocol or the logical and the physical topology here, edge one. Go on this router here. Its neighbor is switch one, it says. Switch one. Okay. Looks good. We can do the show CDP neighbors detail. And as you notice in the show CDP neighbors, it just tells me the interface, the device ID, capability S for layer two, what platform, some model number, and the port is connected to or on. If I do the show CDP neighbors in detail, it's actually going to give me an IP address if there were one. And it tells me the image of software as well. LAN base. 12.2 software release. A little bit outdated now. We're already on the 15.x train. So, anyways. Now we need to look at the interfaces for some reason. That's going out to the internet. In this case, to my remote branch office. Probably don't want to be using CDP on that link, but it is enabled on this activity just for troubleshooting and lab purposes. So you can use CDP in the internal network on your external network. External network. You don't want to broadcast your IP and things like that. Okay. And then we can look at the interfaces and see like the duplex and the speed and the MAC address and all the good stuff. Which we really don't need to look at right now. I'm going to go ahead and remote in to the remote branch office. Using the IP listed here. The same password. Same 
CDP is not enabled. Okay. Just go to global config CDP run. Do a do show IP interface brief. Like I said earlier, this one is going to be going out to the internet. I know that because it's a serial interface A and B. That's a public IP address. So go ahead and go to that interface and do a no CDP enable. All right, now we're good. There, finally. Okay. Now I'm on the branch edge router and my neighbor is the firewall. Doesn't really tell me much. It's a router. Router. Model number is 1900. Let's see if we get an IP off of it. Here's the IP. Tells me the image. It's on the 15.x train. A little bit newer release. Universal image. Interface local. Interface is connected to. Okay, here's the IP we want to shell into to remote. We're already done with the pack tracer, but let's see how far we can go. I cannot remember that password for the life of me. Here we go. Now we're on the branch firewall. It's connected to a switch, 2960, and then the branch edge router, which we were just on. Okay. Let me see here. Looks like there is a management IP for that switch, that 2960, uh, switch branch floor 2. Maybe we can remote to it. 4.132. Okay, we were able to remote into it, but good luck trying to crack this password. I don't know what it is, but that's as far as we can go. So again, we're using CDP to map our network. And if you really want to, you can fill out all this information up here. It would be a good practice, but I don't think it's necessary. Um, once again, my name is Dominus Orbis. I hope this video has been informative and I wanna thank you for viewing.